All right, we are ready for men's basketball from Southern State Community College in Hillsboro, Ohio. We are live and on WZAA 106.9 LPFM, and we are in Jeffersonville, Ohio. But tonight, this afternoon, we are doing Patriot basketball. We've got the Andrews Cardinals facing the Southern State Community College Patriots. And uh, today we've got uh, a little bit of a treat. <laughs> Ladies, don your uh, headphones and your microphones because I'm going to have each of you introduce yourself to our radio and listening audience. We also are recording this uh, for video, which will be on the Campus Nation website in about two days. So keep an eye on the Campus Nation website at campusnation.com, the sports animal, if you're home for high school and college sports. But, uh, ladies, why don't we introduce ourselves? We're going to have our play-by-play and color announcers here do uh, a first for Campus Nation and WZAA. We've got students right here or that have been students here and have played sports here at uh, Southern State. Who do we have? I'm Andrea Gifford. I played here a couple years, and then I've been the coach for eight years. There you go. And? Uh, my name is Natasha Barr, and I've played here for the last four years, and uh, I just graduated, and now I'm helping assistant coach. And you are a 1,000-point scorer, right? Yes, here at Southern State, yes. And that is a very important fact in any sport uh, like basketball and in basketball. So uh, congratulations to that. Thank you. And uh, we're going to be getting underway here in about a uh, minute 20 seconds. The bewildered look of some of the men patriots here. They're <laughs> seeing these ladies here and saying, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, I didn't mean to be mean to you before, so please speak nicely of me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be the goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. There's the buzzer. We'll get ready to start. We have seconds before we start this uh, second game, the men's game. They do that everywhere. I know when they announce they're not allowed to shake the players' hands anymore. You, do you mean the announcers are not allowed to shake the players' hands? No, the refs. The refs are not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's some interesting rules. And for us, for instance, if you are at the college level, uh, and particularly like to say a coach, the NCAA doesn't allow coaches to do high school games because they look at that as sort of uh, recruiting, recruiting yeah. right? Yeah. And it depends. If it's the same sport, that's the case. We're not really sure because we do a lot of Wilmington College. Of course, we do colleges all over. We've been at Shawnee State this week in Portsmouth to do two games. Uh, we're all over. But today we are at Southern State, so uh, we're going to get ready. we got 20 minutes on the clock. Remember, in the girls' game, it's quarters. In the men's game, it's uh, halves. And uh, so we've got two 20-minute halves in this game. And I'm going to turn it over to our broadcast crew. So, ladies, it'll start with a tip-off. It should be an interesting one, that's for sure. And we're underway. Black gets the tip. Number 25 passes the 20. 3 to 32. 25 with two oh. points and an and one. So who was that foul on? That foul was on number 33, Brandon Gingrich from Southern State. 25 at the line with a and one. And it's good. I have a sub number 22 for Southern State Levi Burns. So it's three to nothing. Quick start. Oh, 
turnover by Southern State. So it will be taken outside out by Andrews. Andrews is passing the ball on the three-point line. Goes inside. Number so, 20. Three for shot. So are we in a zone or are we playing man-to-man? -man? Do we know? We, the Andrews is in a 2-3. All right. So it's 5 to nothing. Southern State bringing the ball up. Southern State passes it to the wing. You're getting the hang of it. Up inside, number three. Up with shot, misses it. Andrews with the rebound. Fast break. Oh, number 20 for two. Wow. Andrews is up seven to zero. And who's that bringing the ball up? That is Dylan Sanu. Sanu. Okay. Inside for, look. Let's get past to number 24, Honda. There oh. we go. We're getting 20 it. filled up with a shot. Andrews with the rebound. See, this isn't that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Andrews looks inside. Oh, oh turnover. Turnover. Southern State's going up the floor. Number two, Dylan Sano up with the layup and misses it. So now it looks like he's one of the leaders here on the Patriot squad. I think he's a captain, and I think number 24, LaFonda, is as well. Oh, number two, Jeremiah Irby from Andrews with a bucket. Andrews is up 9-0. to zero. So, 9-0, to zero, and who took the timeout? Must have been Southern State. Yes. Yep, 30 timeout, Southern State. Well, like the girls game earlier, the women got behind... Uh, Andrews was out to a fast start, and we're seeing the same thing here in the uh, yeah. men's game. Definitely keeping that trend. <laughs> do we have the heights on those rosters? We do. So Not on uh, Southern States, but on Andrews we do. How tall is Sanu? Um, I don't know. We don't have him. No, we don't as have As far as the height. height. Okay, all right. All right, so we come out of the timeout. We have 17 minutes and 18 seconds remaining in this first half of play. The Patriots have the ball, and girls? Dylan Sanu is bringing the ball up the floor. Andrews is still in a 2-3. Dylan passes to number Burrell. three, Burrell. Oh, bro with the shot and is blocked by number two on Andrews, Jeremiah Irby. Fast break. Ooh. Number wow. three to number 20 for Andrews with a fast break bucket. Southern State bringing the ball up the floor. Dillis New drives and passes to number 20, Phil, on the Southern State. Oh, nice shot. And up and go with the three. So that's the first score for Southern State, and it's a three. So we are on the board now. Oh. It's a nice inside game for Andrews. It's going to be hard to guard a guy that's, what, 6'10"? Six, six, yeah, he's he's a tall drink of water there. <laughs> Six ten. Thirteen to three, fifteen fifty eight. Right. Foul on Andrews by number three, Josiah Charles. That is his first team's first. See, we're we're getting it. That's a new rule for them as well. When a foul goes, the clock doesn't, the shot clock doesn't reset. It goes back to 20. <laughs> Which I, yeah, I find uh, there have been a number of changes, particularly in the women's game, but uh, even in the men's game. 
Yeah, they changed it from a 35 shot clock to 30, I believe, in the past couple years. Oh, that was number 22, Levi Burns, up for the shot, and it missed. Southern State. Number 25 with the take, and... No, number 20, Phil Thomas with the rebound. rebound. Slowing it down, trying to run through the play as Andrews is still in a 2-3 zone. Outside look. Phil with the drive. He's up. Wow. Oh, it was missed. The hard fought shot. Oh. Right. Might have hurt his finger a little bit. Burrell and Southern State got the steal on that. And now Southern State is heading up the floor. Southern State is passing around the three point line. Oh, and turnover on number three, Burrell Thompson on Southern State. We have a sub coming in, number 24, LaFonda Carson for Southern State. Andrews Ball bringing it up the floor. Uh oh. Oh, Allie. Oh. oh. Phil with a fast break, number 20 for Southern State. Oh, that's good defense on Andrews to stop him. Bringing it back out, setting up the play, running through it. Number two to number 12. Dylan with the drive up and missed. Andrews with the rebound and run down the court. Ooh, number three with the take and make for Andrews. Score is 15 to three with 13, 35 to go. Southern State is drilling outside the three-point line, passing around. Oh, number oh, 25 oh. for Andrews. Joshua Fitzpatrick had the steal and up the layup. It is now 17-3. to three. Andrews is up. Timeout, Southern State. So we're going to take a break here. We will do a station ID, and we will play something from our sponsor. 106.9 WZAALP. Jeffersonville. Begin the next step of your life at Ohio Christian University, one of the nation's fastest growing nonprofit universities. Earn an accredited associate, bachelor, or master's degree entirely online or attend class once a week at one of 11 convenient locations. Programs range from business and human services to IT and RN to BSN and more. Call today, 855 OCU grad or on the web at enroll.ohiochristian.edu. And we're back. 17 to 3. Andrews, the Cardinals, over our Southern State Community College Patriots. Southern State has the ball is bringing it up, and they're passing out on the three point line. I think the height difference will be a big struggle today. Well, that there was some of that in the in the women's game earlier. There was a definite height di disadvantage, yes. I guess you could say. Shot clock is running down. So two. Oh, got nope. it off before. So it counts. It does. Number 22, uh, Levi Burns with the bucket right before the shot clock goes off. Andrews is passing around the three-point line, looks inside. And number 25 of Andrews it puts it up, and it's in. So 19 to 5, 12 11 remaining in this first half. Uh oh. So I say try to look inside, but threw it away. Now Andrew's oh. up the court. Oh. <laughs> that was a good attempt at a steal. He had it and lost it as he was falling. Let's get inside pass number 32 of Andrews. Denzel Daniel with the basket. Yeah, 
Southern State is passing around the three point line and drives. Oh. Shot clock winding down. Five, four. Dylan, number 20, Southern State throws it up. And it's a miss. Andrews run down the court to rebound. Oh, oh that was a foul yeah, by a Southern State. White 12. Tavon Sims with the foul. That's two fouls for Southern State and number 32 for Andrews. So I guess we'll be shooting two since the basket was no good. Yep. The first shot is up and good. And we have two subs coming in. Number 33, Brandon Gindridge, and number three, Burrell Thompson for Southern State. One shot. And it's good. Made both the free throws. 23 to 5. Southern State has the ball and is trying to look inside. They do have some size in there now. I'm not sure how tall Brandon is. Well, that's because we don't have Southern State's heights, do we? No. Ooh, very good ball movement by Andrews. Number 20 for Andrews. Passes it to 32 with the bucket. Show up by 20, 25 to 5. I think it would be in Southern State's best effort to try to slow it down because I don't think they can get in a foot race with Andrews. You think Andrews is much faster? Yes. I do. And they've got longer legs, right? <laughs> That's definite. Oh, kick by Andrews. As he try to look inside. So I stay frozen in. That's on top of the key. Now, who's our point guard for the Patriots? Uh, it is uh, Phil. Whoa! That was a very good take by number 12, Tavon Sims. He's newer to the team this semester. Fouls on Andrews, number two, Jeremiah. Then it's one shot because he made the bucket. Missed oh. the free throw. Rebound by Andrews. They're running up court. They are definitely a fast athletic team here. Yes, yes they are. They have very good ball movement. They cross court pass. Number 20, Andrews. LaFonda with the rebound. Passes it to Sims up top. Back to LaFonda. Number 12, Southern State trying to look inside. Number 24, LaFonda up with the three point shot, and it's no good. Um, Andrews with the rebound, and they're running up the court. Ooh. Nice spin move, and, oh, oh. and it's fouled. So we've got a foul. It's a foul on Southern State, number 33, Brandon. I believe that is his second. So 35 for Andrews at the line with two shots. This is the first. We have subs coming in for Southern State. Number two, Dylan. And number 14 for Andrews, Barry Armstrong. One shot to go for Andrews. He's Makes up and he's good. So the score is 26-7 with 9.24 to go. Andrews is up. So they're safe with the ball, passing around the three-point line. Number 20, Phil. So they're safe with the three-point shot, and it hit off the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hard-fought shot, that's for oh. sure. Oh, number 32 of Andrews, Enzo Daniel with the bucket. It was 28-7. Andrews is up. They don't waste any time getting back down court, do they? No, they do not. Get 
Number 12, Southern State drives and it's up and good. Good shot. 9 to 28 with 8.20 to go. Looks it's like a little pressure, huh? It's now pressure, yes. But Andrew seemed to break it pretty easily. Andrew's passing the ball around the top. Still around the three. They're look and inside. Their inside out game is pretty pretty good. Number 14 with the shot. There's where you saw some of that height come in. Yes. About a foot difference. Yeah, you yeah. have a 6'5 guy on a 5'10 guy. It's kind of tough. <laughs> All right, Southern State has the ball and is now bringing up the court. And that is a foul on Andrews. Number 32, Denzel Daniel. Three fouls both ways. 20? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So we got that trade now. Yes. Yeah, so Southern State. They throw it in. It looks like there's a trap in the corner. Oh, and it's a turnover. And Andrews is running up the court. And puts it up and in. It's now 30 to 9. Seven minutes and 27 seconds. Southern State around the top of the three. Looking to go inside. Step back, Burrell with the three. Misses. Southern State get the rebound. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Work the play. Oh. Number 12 with the drive. Oh. And gets oh. blocked by... And there's a foul call on number two of Andrews, Jeremiah Irby. The foul is on the shot, so there will be two free throws. Number 12 at the free throw line for Southern State makes the first. Number 24 of Andrews is checking in. And that is J.J. Briggs. Number 12 for Southern State at the line for his second free throw. Oh, misses it. Andrews with the rebound. Oh, number 25, Andrews oh. shoots a three and is in and out. So Southern State got the rebound and is now heading up the court. Southern State is passing the ball on the three-point line, trying to look inside. Number 12, Southern State drives, passes, oh. getting in each other's way. Oh, three on the shot clock, two, oh, oh. one. Oh, number 12, Southern State shoots it, and it's no good. Number 35, Andrews got three bones, now bring it down the court. Oh, good oh. defense by... Southern State to knock it out of bounds to give it to Andrews underneath the basket. And uh, at Southern State, who's our coach's name? There's Calvin and um, I don't know his last name. And then Coach Wood would be the assistant coach. Okay. Oh, number 32 of Andrews in lanes up and no good. Gets his own rebound and puts it up and is good. It is 10 to 32 with five minutes and 53 seconds. Southern State trying to work the ball around the top. Looks for a three, number two. Misses it, Andrews with the rebound. Kind of slowing the pace now. I look inside, pass out. Woo. It's a nice inside and out game. Oh, number 32 of Andrews got the offensive rebound and put it back in. Yeah, they're getting multiple uh, attempts because of their height uh, at the basket. So they're getting a lot of offensive. Oh, that's a nice inside oh. pass. Oh. oh, and number two of Dylan went up for a shot and got fouled. Yeah, I think he got him with his body. Oh. Fouls on number 32 from Andrews, Denzel Daniel. 
Actually looks like Andrews has a few more bench players than uh, Southern State, huh? I know our big man for Southern State is in foul trouble, so it's hard to look inside when, you know, we're not very tall. Number two at the line for Southern State misses the first. We have subs coming in for both teams. We have number two, Dylan Sanu at the line. One shot. Makes the second. The score is 11 to 32 with 5.07 to go in the first. Andrews is bringing the ball down. Looks like Southern State is now in a 2 3 zone. And number 25 got the offensive rebound and put it back. Southern State working it around the top. Oh, and LaFonda throws it away to number 25 of Andrews, who's running down the court. And they look inside, and number 35 to 24 to 1 to 25 with going driving oh, in wow. and two points. It's a really nice ball move on Andrews' part. Southern State has the ball on the three-point line. Passing it around. Six on the shot clock. And then number two, Southern State shoots it and is no good. And now it's a fast break for Andrews. Is up and no good. Oh, looks like there's a foul. On Southern State's number 22, Levi Burns. And number one on Andrews will have two shots at the foul line. The first one is up and is no good. Is <laughs> he giving you a hard time? It's yeah. my dad, so he always gives me a hard time. <laughs> the second shot, foul shot is good. So now the score is 11-37 with 3 minutes and 45 seconds to go in the first half. Southern State trying to work the ball around, trying to run through their plays, look for the open man. Looks like there's... Oh. Number 20 with the drive and the spin. Oh, nice spin. Oh, Called it for travel. Yeah, oh. but too nice a spin, I guess. <laughs> yeah, got a little happy feet in there, mm -hmm. I guess. So the basket not allowed. So Andrews, after the turnover for Southern States, bringing it up the floor, walking it up. Ooh. Looking inside. We pass outside and number... One with the shot is up and no good. Number 20 is Southern State. Phillip has the rebound. Oh, Southern State is passing around the three-point line. Ten on the shot clock. And Andrews is playing really tough defense. LaFonda with the shot, misses number 25 for Andrews, gets the rebound, and bringing it up the floor is number 14. Number 24 for Andrews with the shot from the free throw line and knocks it in. The score is 11 to 41 now, with two minutes and 22 seconds to go in the first half. I feel like just like the girls' game, the boys are struggling to hit the basket. Yeah. Now, was Southern State out of school the last week? Or? We have been in school, um, what, three or four weeks now, I think? Number two yes. with the shot in the So mid. there was no there was no time off this past week or anything like that? Uh, well, our girls have not played for okay, so that's about what, two that's what weeks your coach now. was talking yeah. about, right? So they came back a little rusty, what yes. you thought. Yes. Yeah, our boys actually did play yesterday against Crown College, and they went into a double overtime. So it was a hard-fought loss, but they definitely... Oh, double overtime, yep. I guess so. They held their own, for sure. Now, was that here? It was. It was a home game, yes. Well. Hmm. 
who Southern State is trying to buy some time, and they're passing around the three-point line. We get still a 2-3 zone? Yes, it is still a 2-3 zone. That age is still in. And it's a jump ball, and the possession goes to Southern State. Three seconds left on the shot clock. And number 33 on Andrews checks in. Isaac Waddick. So that still have to be quick. So three, oh, two, two, one. one. Number up two with and a shot. Up. Misses and Andrews gets the rebound and bringing it up the floor for them is number one. Oh, number 24 of Andrews with the drive and up is no good. And number 20 of Southern State gets the rebound. Looks like they're slowing the pace down. There's 52 seconds left in the first half. They're making me tired. <laughs> Trying to get it down to take the last shot. Maybe yeah, it's tough to do when seconds, there's a shot clock. Seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so Ten on the shot clock. Number 32 from the corner with the three, and it goes in. Number 32 Great. from Southern State, Andrew Palmer. It's now 14 to 43, with 25 seconds left in the first half. Andrew's looking to get the final shot of the quarter or the half, I guess. Pass around the three-point line. They look inside, number 24, up and no good. And Southern State gets the rebound. And so, we are at half. Southern State has 14, and Andrews is, has 43. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal. You're home for high school and college sports. And, of course, WZAA 106.9 LPFM in Jeffersonville, Ohio, Fayette County. We are here on the campus of Southern State Community College in Hillsboro, Ohio, the home of the Patriots in the Patriot Center. And uh, so what do we want to talk about at halftime? <laughs> hmm. I mean... We could talk about a lot of girls things. basketball, women's yeah. basketball. Yeah, let's talk about women's basketball. high school basketball, any kind of sport for that matter. In fact, uh, the, some of the sports that we have here, obviously, there's no football program here, uh, but we have uh, other winter sports here besides basketball. No, we no. just have so basketball. it's basketball. Okay. Are is there baseball and softball in the spring? We do have fast pitch softball. Yes. So uh, we do have fast pitch softball yes. and baseball. No baseball. No baseball. No baseball. Just softball. Okay, and uh, so we don't have like curling or anything like that. I wish I would be on that <laughs> team in a heartbeat. You like curling? <laughs> I do. I find it very, very interesting. Okay. What about Jello wrestling? Um. No Jello wrestling. That would be unique. I'm sure we would get a big crowd. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> I, I have a listener from the station. From our, We do what is called the morning zoo from 7 to 10 a.m., Monday through Friday. And one of our listeners has challenged me to jello wrestle. It's a she. Oh. And she used to wrestle in high school. Oh. Now, I've oh. not met this lady, <laughs> but uh, I, I have accepted her challenge. So I'm going to be jello wrestling, I think, in March. We do IWA wrestling. Wrestling. Right, so, uh, and uh, you look as though you're injured. <laughs> she's she's on the struggle bus. She's on the struggle bus? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's ever left. She got on and just stays on. <laughs> that is Gabby Rose, number 34, for the women's right, she's, basketball team. She's one of the taller ladies, right? She is. She's one of the tallest we've had in a while. But uh, so uh, neither one of you play softball or have played softball. I do play softball. Yes. You do play softball. Yes. So you're more than a, a one-sport girl, right? Y yes. Uh, yes. And uh, you're taking accounting. I did. I just graduated. So, so. You're, you're you're so you graduated in accounting. Accounting and business. Yes. And. Uh, you're you're still participating though on the softball team. No, no, no. You do play softball, but but like, is this uh, outside of the university, the college? 
yeah, I just do like traveling teams. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Did you ever play any AAU basketball? I did not. No. I no. did. You did? Yeah. Okay. Because we have a young lady at Wilmington uh, College, and she does a lot of times she'll do camera or she does some uh, play-by-play in uh, color. And uh, her name is Lexi Doddridge. I know Lexi. You know Lexi? Yes, I do. Okay. Yep. Well, there you go. So uh, Lexi uh, has been on the road with us to several different locations. Uh Ashland College, we did football, a game of the week up there. And we've been to the NFL Hall of Fame Stadium, Tom Benson Stadium, for a couple games. Malone University plays at Tom Benson. That's their home. That's kind of a nice place to have your home uh, football field, isn't it? Very nice to play there. But uh, so we've we've traveled all over the state. Hawking College, uh, we've been down there to do uh, football. And uh, as far as basketball, we've been to Shawnee State. We've been to... uh, Central State, uh, obviously coming here. So we try to get uh, all over the place. I think we're going to be up uh, to Clark State here. We've been up to uh, Columbus State and uh, done uh, a game up there, uh, two games, women's and men's. Our score at halftime, 43-14. to 14. Andrews Cardinals leading the uh, Southern State Patriots. I hope we get to see some dunks the second half. Well, I mean, we actually do have instant replay. We, we had a couple of replays from the game earlier. but uh, And our video, since we're not streaming live, and hopefully we can get that situation rectified the next time we come in, uh, the uh, IT department's going to have to make it so that we can actually get out to the Internet and stream. We were able to get on the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi, the way it's set up here, and they do that for security purposes. Mm-hmm. You can download or you know download a web page, but you can't actually broadcast anything out. So if we can get that changed, then uh, we will actually stream future games from here, and that shouldn't be a big problem. But uh, this video will be available uh, today is a Sunday, so probably Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. So you ladies will be able to uh, go back and uh, critique yourselves, <laughs> right? Yes, <laughs> that should be this is your This is your, your uh, debut, so to speak, as far as uh, on the radio and uh, on uh, Internet TV. I think if the women played anything like they did today, they don't want live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, you know, different... At different programs go through that cycle, you know, where they sometimes they'll uh, struggle as far mm-hmm. as a lot of it depends on the, the talent that they bring in to, to uh, schedule into play. We did uh, yesterday, we did a uh, women's uh, basketball game at uh, Wilmington College and uh, uh, a very close game, actually down to one point, And then when the game was literally over, they still had to shoot a couple free throws. But uh, uh, with Mount Union, the Purple Raiders, and uh, they're out of Cleveland. And uh, then we turned around and we did uh, a simulcast. So there was a boys' basketball game at Wilmington High School. They have a play-by-play classic uh, that they did yesterday. There were four games, eight teams, and uh, we uh, covered all four of those games. Uh, and the number one Division One team, the Wayne Warriors of Huber Heights, defeated wow. the uh, number six team in the state, the Princeton Vikings out of Cincinnati. Wow. And uh, Wilmington played a team that they weren't supposed to play. The team that they were going to play out of Cincinnati, Spire Academy, uh, they had some strep throat, so they couldn't make it. So I don't know where they found this team, uh, although they were in Cincinnati in the first year of their program. But it was kind of an unusual situation because Wilmington is a high school and they have high school basketball players obviously playing. But this academy that came in, uh, Doan, they actually uh, have students that are beyond the high school age. So the game really last night, they just needed a team to play Wilmington because of the late uh, notice. But uh, they had a couple uh, guys that were actually out of high school at least a year. Oh, wow. that were playing in the game. So it wasn't an official Ohio High School athletic sanctioned game, but it was an interesting game. Wilmington only lost by, I think, four points, five points. Oh, uh-huh. So they held their own, and, and that looked more like that team was, uh, and they were from all over the country. They were from New Jersey and the Bronx, and uh, uh, I think they had a player from Puerto Rico, and they were kind of interesting. Wow. Uh, uh, but... Uh,
So Andrews has been out here warming up for quite a while. Yeah. I guess these are part of their players. Or yeah, maybe I think, they're, yeah, I they're think the rest are sitting on the bench. Yeah, <laughs> the rest are resting. Yeah, I think the actual starters are probably uh, sitting the bench. Although the young man that's there, the tall young man, he uh, I think he played. In yeah, the first. The, yeah, he's in, he has two fouls, I believe. So he didn't get to play a whole lot. Didn't want to pick up a cheap third one or anything. Yeah. So when's our next game for the girls here? Do we know? Next home game? We play, I don't know, right off hand. Give me a second and I'll find out. I know we were supposed to play Clark and they canceled the rest of their women's season. Sure for, sure. I don't know if it was in enough players, eligibility, I'm not sure. But I know the rest of their season has been canceled. And it's tough at the, uh, at the, particularly at the community college level, yeah. it's tough being able so many times to recruit and field teams because, and a lot of people that are listening may not realize, but from Division three down or the community colleges, you're not, it's not like you're really, you know, getting a scholarship to play four years of basketball or yeah. four years of uh, football or whatever. Uh, so a lot of these uh, athletes that are playing at, at this level and uh, the Division three level and you really don't uh, you don't have the uh, I guess the reward for being able to do that there yeah. are some perks for playing and obviously if you love the sport you still want to play yeah yeah I know on our team we have people that drive an hour and a half just to come to campus so right it's a long commute for most of our team and and that is typical of a community college where you have no on campus and there's no and even as far as activities uh, sometimes it's difficult to, to get fans in the stand so to speak yes, because yes. there's no on campus you know students that are here that are living here yeah. in dormitories uh, so, so mostly you, just parents th that's parents right friends, pa so. parents that are in yeah. fr like you say or boyfriend or girlfriend yeah. or whatever that's coming out and supporting the athletes uh, so we encourage everyone not just to listen or to watch our uh, streams come out here and actually see these uh, athletes in action because they need your support just like athletes at any uh, any level as far as uh, uh, play not everybody can play for the division one big schools right <laughs> that's for sure the, i may have stage five playing for that <laughs> but i'll tell you what and and that's the same way i prefer in most cases women's sports to men's sport and, and the reason I do is is uh, not because I'm a man and I just like <laughs> to watch women play. I mean, that may be part of it, but I think the main reason is women play with a different kind of intensity yeah. when they play. And it's the same thing when we talk about uh, people that play the sport and they're not on scholarship or they, they don't go to a big university or college and they don't have, you know, 30,000 people in the seats or 15,000. Yeah. Uh, they play because they love the sport and... Uh, you see some talent, and we see we see that, for instance, at Hawking College. They are a two-year school, and they really take a lot of, I'm not going to call them the rejects, but maybe kids that don't initially have the SAT, ACT, or yeah, the, the scores. Yeah, the grades to go. Or they have some other, you know, issues yeah. as far as, uh, it's sort of like, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, if you're talking at the high school level and you go to a technical school or you go, you know, sometimes high school is the formal high school isn't for everybody well it's yeah. the same thing with some of these schools like hockey and that but they do develop some good players and often they actually might get a scholarship and go to a uh, you know to a different mm -hmm. college after those first two years yeah i know i played at a junior college out in illinois and i had a scholarship there as a d1 juco and then a girl that i played with played there two years and got recruited to play for hawaii so it was very well. Neat. That'd be a nice place to go to college. <laughs> exactly. I feel like good. College well, <laughs> and, and and that's and and a lot of people don't, don't realize too that the uh, as far as a junior college, Hocking is the only junior college in the state of Ohio as far as at that. Uh, so and they play schools. We we did three football games I think with them, and they had a school come in from North Carolina. They had a school come in from I don't know Alabama. There might even a Texas school. So they, they travel all over the country in order to be able to get some talent to play. Yeah. So we've got about a minute 50 to go before we start this second uh, second half of the men's game. Oh, and the Patriots are coming out of the locker room. There we go. So they must not feel they need to warm up. They must be as hot as they need to be, right? 
Or they just had a really long talk. <laughs> a 20-minute talk or 15-minute talk. Well, that could be, too. Sometimes a coach may have things to say. Sometimes you got to boost them around. may not like the scoreboard, so... <laughs> Hopefully, Southern State can connect with the basket this second half. <laughs> so, ladies, you're getting more comfortable now? Yeah. Okay. It's a little right. better now. That's right. I don't bite, so I... Uh, <laughs> So there's the first buzzer. Second buzzer will get underway. Let's see now. Who has the ball second half? It will be Andrews, Andrews I believe. All right. Shot clock or the... Uh, game clock. Game game arrow. The, the Possession arrow. Possession arrow. That's right. <laughs> I, was, I was grasping. For <laughs> Possession arrow. And so Andrews will have the... Uh, And we were right. Nope. Andrews will start with the ball, and um, Southern State will be on defense. Yeah, and Andrews has the lead 43 to 14, so we have our work cut out. And Southern State sticks with the 2 3 defense. Andrews with the shot, and number 24 has the offensive rebound, and then throws it up and misses. And Slash State now has the rebound. Andrews is in a zone as well, 2-3. They played that pretty much the whole game, haven't they? Yes, um, they have. Yeah, I believe both teams are playing a zone. Uh -huh. so. I think once Slash State learned that they're size didn't match up with theirs. They changed. <laughs> Man, to zone. Oh, and number 33 on Andrews with the steal. Oh, 14 with the fast break for Andrews with the bucket. It is 45 to 14 with 19 to go. So State is out on three-point line. Passing around. I'm trying to look inside. Okay, throws it inside. Number 24, LaFonda up and is good. Nice turnaround. 16.45 with 18.30 to go. Andrews is out on the wing with the ball. He's passing around. Number 35, Andrews up. The shot is no good. And Burrell, number three on Southern State, has the rebound. He's bringing up the court. Number 20 for Southern State with the shot. Misses. Andrews, number 24 with the rebound. And Andrews pushing the ball up the floor. Looking inside, outside. Oh, 35 with the pump fake and is up. It's by and puts the layup in. Nice move. Southern State is now bringing the ball to the floor. Number two, Dylan at point guard. You girls are having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, number 24, Southern State has. The offense rebound, they're passing around. That was a oh. good step through and got the foul call. 
And that's probably some of the best things that we can do is uh, because when you go to the line, the clock is stopped. You get an opportunity to score some points and, uh, and catch up without. <laughs> that's right. And, and most of all, a breather, right? Lord knows we need them. When you mm -hmm. have about six or seven people on the team, you get as many as you can. Mm -hmm. And that fouls on number 24 of Andrews, J.J. Briggs. Number two at Southern State at the line. Misses the first. Misses the second. That was Andrews tough, with the know. rebound. Andrews has the ball. He's bringing up number 14. Oh, wow. 14 of Andrews with the three point bucket. He's now 16 to 50 with 16 minutes, 55 seconds to go. Southern State working the ball around the top. Number three with the drive and the shot and goes in for Southern State. It is 18 to 50 with 16.35 to go. Oh. Got some pressure now. Southern State is not pressuring Andrews. But... Andrews turns it over. Number 24, LaFonda, Southern State has the ball. So the pressure actually worked. It did. Southern State working the ball. Good ball movement. Number two for Southern State with the shot and the miss. Number 24 with the rebound. The put back in the miss. Number Never. 20 with the offensive rebound and puts it in. Yeah, two offensive rebounds there. Looks like they're sticking with the pressure. Score is 20 to 50 with 15.56 to go. Andrews gets it across. And Southern State falls back into their 2 3. Shot clock winding down. Number one shoots it and misses. Southern State bring the ball to the floor. Number Open. two drives to the basket and gets it stolen. Andrews with the fast break, layup, and it's up and good. It is 20 to 52. Southern State working the ball. Cross court pass to the short Look corner. Out. Back out. Up with a three, Ooh, and it is good. Nice. Uh, Southern State number two. Dylan Snow. Southern State still on a full court press. Andrews breaks it rather easy. Andrews looks oh. aside and oh, has a bad pass right through the hands. So now Southern State has the ball. Southern State walking the ball up the floor. Looking for an inside presence, working it around the top. Still working it outside. Number 20 with a drive. 10 on the shot clock. It was a nice Good inside in. pass. And e number 33, Brandon Goodrich of Southern State is fouled. He will shoot two at the line. Those fouls on number 24 from Andrews. That is his second. And the first shot is up and good for Brandon Gendrick. Oh, the second shot is up and no good. Andrews is now moving the ball around and up. And number 33 of Southern State gets the rebound. Now they're pushing the ball up the court. Oh, good inlet pass to the free throw line. Out pass to number three, Burrell, and misses a three. Andrews with the rebound. Andrews is pushing up the court. Look for the inside pass up, and it is good. Score is now 24 to 54 with 13 minutes and 41 seconds to go. 
Southern State looking to pass the ball around. Keeping it outside. Oh, there's a trap in the corner. Got out of it, passed it up top. Number three with the dish to number 33. When there's a foul on the play. Fouls on Andrews, number 33, Isaac Waddick. Number 33 from Southern State at the line for two free throws. Oh, the first one is up and is good. The second shot is up and it is good. Oh, Southern State is now continuing with the pressure. Oh, oh hit him right in the head. <laughs> you go up and oh, oh. there's a block. Number 33, Southern State with the foul. Number 24 of Andrews is at the line. Shoot two. The first one is up and is good. Andrews has the balls. Passing around. Oh. In and out, and the uh, tip doesn't fall. So I'm stay with the rebound, bringing it up the floor. Working the ball around. Number two with the drive and the dish. Number three to number 12. Back to number three. Number three with the drive. He misses it, hard shot. Andrews with the rebound. Andrews slows it down. Trying to look for the inside game. And number two with the hook shot. Open oh, is up and good. Hard to guard someone that's 6'10 and with their arms extended, probably about 17. Yes. <laughs> the score is now 32 to 60 with 9 minutes 50 seconds to go. Number two with a far outside shot, rolls around the rim. Southern State with a rebound. Passing it back out, setting up their play again. Number 12 with the drive and the dish. Number two with the shot. Oh, it was no good. Andrews has the rebound. He's now bringing it up the court. Andrews is moving around the three-point line. And there is a foul on the play. He's on number 22 in Southern State, Levi Burns. So it was a block, huh? Yes. <laughs> I think they hit knees. You think they hit knees? I think 20 has a dead leg yeah. for Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> Andrews threw the ball in. Andrews looks inside. Passes outside for a three. Is up and it's no good. Andrews with the... Three Several tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we said. Oh. It's no good, but Andrews has possession. Looks like they're doing a stack. Andrew throws it in. It's up, layup, and another offensive rebound. And it's up, and it's good. Just too many tall players to defend, aren't they? Yes, there are. 62-32. Southern State looking to run their play, maybe get some movement. Holding the ball up top, looking for cutters. Pass it to the free throw line, number 24 with a nice shot and the make. Around. Score is 34-62 with 8.20 to go. And 
Andrews has the ball, pass around the three point line, trying to look inside. Number 32 of Andrews up with the shot, no good, but number two of Cleans up the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Southern State bringing it up the floor. Working the ball around at a cutter low out to the elbow and bounces it off of Southern, or Andrews, and it's Southern State ball on the sideline. And number 33, Brandon Gindridge for Southern State comes in. 15 left on the shot clock. Five. Number two with the outside shot. Got and it. Makes it. That was nice. It's a very nice shot. 37-64 with 7.27 to go. Andrews has the ball out and he's driving. It's good defense on Southern State's part. And he throws it out of bounds. So there you go. That good defense pays off, goes back to Southern State. Southern State bringing the ball up the floor, looking to run through their plays. Number 20 with the drive and the look into the post. Tough pass. Seven on the shot clock, number three with the three, and makes oh, it. Wow. Hitting some threes now, That's 40 right. to 64. Andrews now has the ball, bringing it up the court. Pass it to the wing, trying to look inside. Hope they do. They dish it down to number two, and up, and it's good. Once again, that height. So they're going to stay working the ball around the top, looking probably to shoot some more threes. Well, they've been working. Yeah. <laughs> they pass inside to number 33, oh. and he bounces it right off his shoe. Uh, Andrews is now bringing the ball up the court. At the top of the line. Looks inside. It's good ball movement. And number two, Wani with the shot, and it's no good. So I stay with the rebound. Number three, bringing it up the floor. Looks outside to number 24 with the three, and off the front of the rim, number 33 with the rebound. Put back, miss. Number nice. 24 with the rebound, and put in. 42-66 with 5.37 to go. That's a string. Yeah. <laughs> We are delayed. That's why we're still talking, even though our lips aren't moving. <laughs> oh, Southern State now has the ball. It's bringing up the court. Hey, Working it around the top, looking for the inside presence. Number two on the wing, looks inside for the three throw line. Passes it out to number three oh, and number shot blocked. Got it back though. Three passes at the 24. Hard fought shot. Got his own rebound. Put it back up. Low contact, no foul. Andrews now has the ball is pushing up the court, looking inside, and number 25 shoots it up and misses the first one, but got his rebound, put it back in. Score is 42 to 68 with four minutes and 40 seconds to go. Number two passes it to number 20 on Southern City. Shoots an outside shot just a bit short. Andrews has fast break and is up and is good. So there's the score, 70 to 42 with 424 remaining. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. And also WZAA 106.9 LPFM out of Jeffersonville, Ohio, Fayette County. 
We are at the Patriot Center in Hillsboro, Ohio for men's college basketball. Now, Southern State, what division are we in? Honestly, I don't know. I know we're not in a league. Um, Southern I'm, State is not in a league. We're not. So you're independent. Yes. Okay. So uh, obviously the teams that we're bringing in here uh, are either other independents or they're teams that are in leagues, but they're playing us out of league. Correct. And has that been the case all along? Were ever, we in a league? Ever since I've been here, we have not been in a league. And I how long has that been? I've been here eight years. Eight years. Okay. So, um, are you, you're not a professional student, are you? No. <laughs> I did go to school. <laughs> I did play. And then I actually broke my wrist and my hand playing. So I kind of said, that's it. I'm done. I can't play anymore. I'm too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> you're too old. <laughs> I have brittle bones. <laughs> That, that, yeah, that happens when we get old. <laughs> it's hard being 28 years old playing against 19 oh, yeah, years yeah, old. <laughs> that, that, well, well, that's true, yeah. Southern State has the ball. It's moving around the three-point line. Ten and on looking, the shot clock. Looking inside. Just good inside pass, but oh, it is still Southern State's ball. It went off of an Andrews player. It's hard to bounce past a ball to a... What, 6 3 player? Oh, oh. A nice inside pass, but mishandled it. Now there's a fast break. Oh, and it's up and it's good, Andrews. It's a good no foul by number 33 for Southern State. So walking the ball up the floor. Oh, but yeah. there's another steal. It's a fast break and it's. Oh, and there's a foul in the play. Number two in Southern State, Dylan Snow. The first foul shot is up and is good. Second shot is up and is good. Southern State now has the ball and is bringing it up the court. Southern State's moving around, looking side to number 33. Good reverse layup. So, 30 point lead, 74 to 44. Oh, wow. Downtown Brown. That was NBA. Number 25 for Andrews. It's a pretty deep shot. So then State moving the ball around the top, looking to go inside. Hard pass. Oh, they stole Stolen. it, but they attempt to steal it back. <laughs> oh, and they did steal it back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, stepped out of bounds. Oh. Uh, it's turnover on number two of Southern State. It's now Andrew's ball. Andrew's has the ball. And Passing around the three point line, trying to look inside. Number 25, Andrews, three point shot is up and is no good. And number 24, Southern State, has the rebound. 